Okay. So this is uh, our hunter, Bullrendir. That's what he looks like with his cosmetic gear on. And we are only level 17, still getting to know the hunter class. Thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, been building this character sort of from the ground up, focusing on what virtue traits we want to prioritize and looking for opportunities to get those virtue traits as we go. Right now we are running blue line, uh, although we may make some changes to the things that we have chosen in the blue line. Quest wise, we're on the epic quest is taking us to Tom Bombadil. The main goal for this session is to play through the Barrow Downs, which happens to coincide with several virtues that we're looking to build up. And let's see if we are correct on the path that we are taking towards Tom's. I may have gotten off a level here. Spiders on us. Um, we'll see shortly. It will not be the first nor the last time that I have gotten a little lost trying to wake my way to Tom's house. Or just gotten a little lost in general. Yeah, I think we have definitely come the long way around. Although it is possible that we'll still be able to get there. I don't know. We may need to kind of go around this way if this gets through over here. Yeah, I think we finally did make it, although we certainly came the long way around. And if you haven't seen these quests, these epic quest lines in particular, especially the ones involving Tom Bombadil's, I was recently rereading, have do, been started rereading Lord of the Rings and have been in the part of the early first volume where we meet Tom and. Uh, what can I do for you today? Tom and Goldberry, as well as here the description of the Barrow Down, so it's kind of fun the timing of this in terms of what I've been reading recently. And we actually right now are going to collect some lilies for Tom to give to Goldberry. But certainly, and there's Old Man Willow. If you remember from the story, Hobbit's adventures almost had a very early end. Both here before they found Tom because of the Old Man Willow and as well as in the Barrow Downs where they were entrapped by one of the whites, white lords. And in both cases had to be assisted or rescued by Tom. So but this is not going to be focused on lore, unfortunately, although I would love to, to do that. We're going to focus more on this playing hey, the Hunter class and do, what it's like playing Hello, through friend. the Can Barrow I Downs. You with something? All right. So we now have the corresponding epic quest line for this area. And in just a moment, we'll get a whole bunch of other quests. We already have some that we picked up in Bree. So the first thing we'll be doing is just playing through all the quests to get some levels. We do need to at least get to 20, I would say, to try to do what we're wanting to try to do. And that may mean a fast travel back to Bree and then a run back in here. But we will see kind of how the levels come. Could I speak with you a moment? Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? We get all these would quests and pick them up. Me? And the virtue um, 
the deeds that we need Stay to complete for the specific virtues we're going for, we'll and obviously as we get those, we'll be able to see what they are, but we've got to kill those dog-like creatures, the barks. We've got to do a grave digger deed, a white slayer, nemesis of the fallen deed, Breland adventurer, adventurer, that will just come as we do quests, executioner of the wicked, and a lot of that, after we do some questing out here, a lot of that is going to happen by going through a public dungeon. I think it's called Hod Larcheth. I don't know how to pronounce that. People who are familiar with the game or this area will probably be familiar with that public dungeon. I've actually never done it myself, although I hear that it might be possible for us to solo it, but probably not until our low 20s. So we're hoping we can fudge that a bit and, uh, and attempt it whenever we get to the appropriate level. And at this point, we really might as well just start killing things. There are quests for us to kill pretty much all of these items that are in here. And you'll notice we are blue line as we are running around and shooting. We've got to kill a lot of the a lot of the whites anyway for the advanced D that we need. And at least with the current way that this build is constructed, we've got pretty good fluidity through combat, but we do have to Would stop every once in a while to build back up our questing, our uh, focus. I don't know how that happened. all these creepy crawlers so we're trying to just get them as we walk so the thing about having our stance being strength stance is that we're increasing the amount of damage we're able to do but we're giving up the focus generation so let's change the precision see how the damage output sees, seems. But you'll notice that we'll be building up one focus every, is it three seconds? Five seconds. So if the damage is still high enough, we may... be okay. But if we notice a drop off in the damage, we'll switch back, switch back to strength. So far it seems like we're okay on damage. This basically just gives us the opportunity to spend a little more time in combat versus out of combat building up focus. And it's really only the case in longer longer fights which at this level it seems like we're doing enough damage that we're just not experiencing the uh, longer fights on normal mobs at least but only on longer fights would I imagine that you would actually need to really use your builders very much to build up more focus. Um, everything is dying quick enough that uh, we're not needing to do that a whole lot. So 
So we completed the quest for the number of whites we need to kill, but of course we need way more than that for the two deeds, the first level and then the advanced level of the Slayer deed. two of these down to minimize the amount of damage that they're either doing to her or potentially doing to us the better and that actually just went so fast so far everything is very going very smooth we're gonna try to grab these branches nice being in blue line, being able to run and shoot at the same time. And uh, we'll talk about traits sort of in a bit, take a little pause from the action and talk, talk through traits a little bit. I'm, I'm actually thinking about making a change here myself. And you can see that even in precision stance, penetrating shot, uh, almost one shot the elite there. And then Barrage finished him off. And of course, we're not even using traps, which we could be doing. We are occasionally throwing Barbed Arrow out when we don't want to use one of our big spenders. And that does do the damage over time. We have almost escorted her all the way through. Now, let me leave this D log up for a minute, because there's a couple things we're going to want to track. But we're not high enough level to use the... Uh, So that's pretty much it. What level do we need to be to use this mace? Level 19. So we'll be there in a level from now. And that will give us plus 6 agility. That will be huge. So we need to remember at 19 to, to add the mace. So we're finished uh, escorting her. We're actually going to pick up a quest here as well. And we can turn that back in when we go to the survivors again. So Breland Adventurer is complete quest within Breland. We're at one of 15 now. And it may be the second tier of that that we want. Let's check that real quick. I think it is, because I think it was loyalty that we were going for. I can look right over here and determine that. Yeah, so it's loyalty. So it is the second, second tier of that. So that will be a good bit of questing. Barrow Downs gives us patience. That's not one of the ones we're after, but this, of course, is, although we're only at the first tier of it. So we're not going to track it for now. Um, we'll see how we're doing on killing these things. We've still got a few more to go. And we'll see where we are on the map, see what quests are nearby. We will be picking, picking up uh, ash to continue our crafting. As we have... Uh, the bow we're using right now is a strong ash bow, so we critted and uh, crafted our own bow. And that is partly why we're able to do the amount of damage we're doing now. Okay, so there's level 18. We did not get a new ability, and because it's not an odd level, we also did not... Oh, I take that back, we did. We got low cut. 
slows the movement speed up, up to three enemies, so that's pretty good. We'll put that up here on our third level where we have our melee abilities. Uh, actually, we may not. We're going to put that down here. This is going to be like a... We're going to put that down more easily accessible. Because that will be a way that we will get out of tough situations. And we want to use our... Well, I guess we won't. Barbed arrow here. We do have the... And I'm not even using it very much, so I really ought to respec. I'm just not finding it that necessary at this point. But we do have the multi-shot... Ability. And even though we may have finished the quest on these, we do need to keep killing these puppies. The Barkst. Bargast. Alright, let's see what we're near here. Oh, let's go, since we're close to it, let's go do the digging, the digging in the dirt. After one more of the creepy crawlers, we actually won't need any more of them. We are not working on any kind of slayer deed with them. I don't even think there is a slayer deed with them, actually. the rats and then there's one more spot we need to get a lore fragment from and then we can sort of refresh our quest to see what all else we need to be working on and we get to this point of the first quest turn ends we hope to at least be able to hit 19 at that point so that we can equip that mace That will certainly help. Before we dig, let's take care of this guy. All right, let's try our new ability here. That will slow his movement speed down considerably. That's a pretty good boon there. All right, we can go ahead and dig. All right, we finished that one. Finish that one. We've done that. Layla safe passage. So what we have not done is stone fragments. That's kind of in the middle. Ancient text. Shades. Prey on the darkness. And then the epic. So let's see. It looks like we actually have to go into those places, right? Gathering the shards. Gather barrow shards. I'm not sure where those are unless they're underneath. I'm just not, not familiar with that. Prey on the darkness and then book one, of course, is down there in the lower corner. So let's go and do... We're going to do the normal quests first in here. So let's... Um, where was gathering the ancient text? Was that inside? I think that is inside. So let's take that off. I don't know about the shards. Prey on the Darkness is a fellowship, so we're not going to track that. And then Stalker of Hod Erketh. As I mentioned before, we're going to be going there anyway. So we will hold off. Here is a... Oh, we've got things chasing us here. Another quest we can pick up from the Wandering Shade. And he wants us to... 
go to his barrow. So we will do that. But I believe the stones we need to pick up are actually right up here. Carved stones. And we picked up our first random piece of loot out here. See if it's any good for us. It gives us vitality. That certainly is good for us. Better than the might, I would say, overall. And our rings needed a big upgrade anyway. Can't quite equip that mace yet, though. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Book That's over there. Gathering the shards. I'm just not sure what that's about. The dead spire. That's something we're turning in. And then a ring wandered away. Okay, let's go over. Seek the Wandering Shades Barrow. So it's one of these barrows. I actually don't remember which one it is. Apparently, we picked the right one. We'll open up with the bleed just for fun. And then we will down him. We've got the shades ring, so we should be able to take it back to him while we're over here near him. And then I think he has us go and kill a few more whites on his behalf. Uh-oh. Got a little creepy crawler interrupting our ash gathering. Let's see if we can find find the wandering shade again. Here he is. Yeah. All right. So now he wants us to go shield brother, which appears to be up at the top. On the way though, let's go ahead and go do this epic quest. And we need to kill lots of the barks as we see them. Alright, here's where the epic quest line is. Alright, we'll see about this double shot. Did not take them out. I'm going to slow him down here. So it's harder for him to chase us. Alright. Okay, so we completed the epic part of the storyline in here. Now we'll go do Shield Brothers. I think at that point we're probably, after we do Chill Brothers, we're probably ready to go turn in a bunch of these quests and hopefully hit 19. Again, I'm just not sure what these Gathering the Shards quests are. Those turn ins are going to be in Bree anyhow, so I don't feel, though I think we do need to do them while we're out here. I don't know that we need to prioritize doing them before going and turning the first level of quests in. I think when we hit 19 and we get another point to put into our talents, we're gonna change our blue line up just a little bit kind of talk through it. That'll be a good chance to look at our traits. Alright, this is where we gotta do our thing. For the Shield Brothers.
I don't know when we get that quest, but we don't have it yet, apparently. I think we just completed the first level of White Slayer. And remember, that is one of the deeds. As we start the advanced portion of that deed, that is one of the deeds we want. Let's double check by looking at our quests here. Yeah, it looks like we've completed all of those. I would think this would hit 19 for us. We will soon find out, but I would think it would. Let's track the right things here. So we can make sure we're going to the right location, but I'm fairly certain, yeah. It's over here towards the old forest. Can't not kill these uh, dogs. Remember, we need a bunch of them. And this is a spot that's got a ton. So there was the first level of the Barge Slayer, and we need to get the advanced one completed. Disturbing to me that Layla is still over there. hit 19 here and equip that mace. How can I be of service? Greetings. Hmm. Good day. Hello there. We may not hit it on these turn ends. How can I be of service? Would you do something for me? Looks like we are not going to hit it, in fact. Hello there. Well, that's not true, because we can go what can I do just down you? the hill. Will you give me a moment of yeah, your time, friend? We'll go turn what in the epic. I, for you? I forget you can't repair out here. And for now, we'll hold on to all of the task items in case we do task turn-ins back at Bree. <coughs> Excuse me. As long as our inventory holds up, that should be fine. Okay. So we should be able to go right down here into the old forest and um, turn that in with Tom. We're gonna wait on the beat the deeds because we will eventually want to track them. But while we're still working on some of these quests, we won't worry about it. Fortunately, by doing a lot of these quests, we just make a lot of progress in the deeds that we need to do anyway, so it's kind of a nice way to get a big jump on them and then we'll finish them off when we need to. Alright, so he's gonna give us an upgrade here on a sword. It's gonna give us vitality, so I'm what can I do not for complaining you about that. And then this is the travel quest. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get off our mount here. We'll take we'll take the morale increase, and like I said, we'll take the sword. I'm not sure what we want our offhand to be. Maybe the critical hit chance versus the evade chance. I guess so. And then we'll be using this mace shortly. But 
I think that's good. I think we're good now. All right, Tom, lead us on. We do, merry do, my hearty. An unholy alliance is forged within the depths of Othrengroth. The Great Barrow, a sinister This will at least give us a few more. Could spell doom for Arian. A few more of some of what we need to kill the whites, I guess. And a few dwarves. There's Scorgrim. That would have been a good chance to try out our two-shot ability. Maybe we can do it here. Okay, so it did pretty good damage to both. It's not bad. I just don't know that it's necessary at this point. Keep the woodworker. The woodworker scroll for sure. Got a lot of XP from turning in the quest to Tom, so we're two dwarves away from leveling. Right. We got the quest for Lone Lands. not a builder it does yeah it adds to focus okay Needed. Was that noise? at our our blue line here as soon as we get done with right, let's do the multi-attack here I'm scared I think he's died yet Scary pull we had. Um, do we have? Oh, we can use this now. All right. So we now want to have the sword in our offhand, the mace in our primary hand. Do we have the potions? Yeah, let's put these potions on our bar now. Could have used an emergency healing pot there just to be on the safe side. So we're still not to full health. Takes a little while to build health back up, huh?
completed Lord of the Cardolan Prince. So we got all of the we got all of the pages. Okay. is the last por portion of this instance so let's go ahead and uh, do what we said we were going to do let's look at the blue line here and we have taken split shot however i have not found that they are necessary at this point so we're going to hit respecialize go back into blue and i think there's an argument to be made for doing skill induction quick draw which is going to decrease the amount of time it takes for us to cast. Of really prioritizing that entirely over our uh, damage. However, we're not going to do that. We're going to kind of do what we did last time. And we will go two into both. And then we'll hit the third into quick draw. So we will prioritize it a little bit, but not fully at this point. And then at this time, uh, before we were using split shot, I just decided I didn't love that. So, um, and, and honestly, at this level, now later, I'm thinking quick shot focus may be, um, it may be pretty good. Quick shot is just a way to build back focus. But at this point, we're not actually using quick shot that much because we have, um, we're killing things so fast. So we're gonna go into strong draw which is gonna make our heavy hitters even heavier. So we'll do that. I do think you're gonna to wanna to max out both of these, obviously. And then uh, beyond that, I'm just not sure where to go. If you want the AOE damage or hitting multiple shots, you could really commit to split shot, put several points into it up to four to, to increase how many targets you're hitting. But at least for now, we're gonna just kinda of do it this way. So this should give us a little bit more damage. With that increase, we're now doing 10% more damage on Penetrating Shot and Barrage, because those are our two big spenders. And we also could have had, instead of 2% additional range damage, we could have had up to 5%, but we are prioritizing decreasing the amount of time it takes us to cast spells. I mean, cast our abilities, sorry. All right, so let's defeat the White Lord here. First, we'll take out these guys. Let's get an early shot off. Maybe a bleed. Let's go ahead and slow him down. And start doing some damage to him. So he's gonna re. He's gonna heal himself. We have to get him down again. And then when he heals himself again, is actually when Tom will come save us, I believe. So it's not going to be a certainty of when Saruman the White has become the jailer of Mordor. It was he who orchestrated my capture and imprisoned me atop Orthanc. Why here the Windlord came to my rescue and saved me from this accursed tower. All would have been lost if Strider hadn't found Frodo and the Hobbits. 
So in terms of rotation, if I mean, I guess if you're ha if you are in a fight that's going to take a little longer to open up with barbed arrow to have that damage over time, and it's going to slow them down by 10%. It's not a bad opener, but because of how fast we're killing things right now, for the most part, we're just keeping our focus uh, maxed out by either using focus channeled out of combat or by relying on our precision stance to build up one focus every five seconds. And we're just kind of opening with penetrating shot or barrage. The neat thing about barrage is every time it's used, it's only one second cooldown. It does more damage. So against a really tough enemy, you actually would probably want to start with barrage you're only going to do, you know, between 641, 669 in that uh, first, in terms of common common damage, but that's going to go up. That's pretty much equal to what you're doing with penetrating shot anyway. I'm assuming the cost is a little higher. No, it's actually identical. And it also lowers the barrage power cost by 50%. So it's actually a better ability in many ways. All right, we need to talk to Tom, and he just went in to hang out with his wife. So hold on, Tom. Let's we'll see what we can get here. So we could do Will. I think we'll do the boots because we don't have anything on our boots currently, and the shoulders aren't as good as what we already have. I think I hit finish later there. All right, talk to Strider, and we finally get our necklace. And why I thought that was talk to... Gandalf is because actually this is the part of the quest when you get there Strider is gone and you do end up talking to Gandalf but the quest reads talk to Strider alright we actually don't need to track that right now we need to track all of these other things okay let's go back in and start working on some of these other quests I'm not as familiar with these some of these quests are actually quests such as gathering ancient texts all of the gathering ones right here the repeatables that have the green re repeat sign on them those are things that you get from Bree down near kind of at the bottom of Bree let me see if I can find it real quick down near here sort of near where the campsite is these are like the reputation vendors, the men of Bree. They give you these repeatable quests to come into the Barrow Down. So we're gonna see, um, like I said, I'm not super familiar with them, but we're gonna see if we can figure out how to how to get some completion on those. And then it won't be long until we're gonna start working really specifically on the quests we need to get our virtues. Just getting rid of stuff that we simply don't need at this time. Okay. Oh, Shield Brother is actually something we need to go turn in. So let's turn that in first to see if he gives us another follow-up quest he may be the one that sends us down into the southern barrow downs which we are probably not going to go down there just yet while we still have things to do up here but it's worth turning it in to see if that is the case Still have a little uh, focus here all right we're good so i wonder if it only limits the Barrage cost. No, oh, it says for five seconds it limits it, so. Technically, that should cost. I don't think it's working as intended. Or I am not understanding it correctly. Alright. So the shield guy actually goes in a circle the wandering shade goes in a circle around I think it's around this mound actually let's see if that's true it may be around 
the dead spire. Hold everything. I see Bargusts. I know we have been killing a lot of these, but it will make life a little easier down the line if we have made as much progress as possible as we go. All right. We could go and open up the woodworker to see if it's something we don't have. Heavy ash javelin of defense, okay. All right, let's look. I must have been wrong. It must be that the shield brother rotates around the spire here. So let's just go off in a direction, see if we can find him. Defeat the Bone Man. It's not the best ring for us. I'm trying to see if anything is good. It, oh, that's a really good wrist item for us because it gives us agility. So that's nice. All right, let's see if we can figure out gathering ancient texts. And I'm just assuming that this means we go inside of these places and gather texts from each one of them. Don't know if there'll be anything else for us to do in there. There may be other whites to kill, which is fine. Here's an ancient pillar. Looks like that is what we need. Oh, there was just one, huh? Just one thing to etch in here. Okay. does show that we have completed that one, so that looks like that was correct. Sixty on those whites, and we are at fifteen of sixty on the on the pups. So we are getting there, even without to really, even without feeling like we're really grinding at this point i mean we're just kind of doing quest and we've already gotten a lot of progress on the slayer deeds we need here okay there's another ancient pillar whoa 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 kind of waiting on things to spawn in here i guess hey where did you come from Ooh, that collected a shard there Okay, it looks like we collect it from enemies inside here. So we want to kill everything we can. New Deed Grave Digger. That's one of the ones we need, right? I don't remember what we're doing for that one, but... Uh, Alright, let's just see if there's 
We want to fully explore this place. I'm not expecting it to be a really big place, but we do want to fully explore it. Let's go ahead and get our focus up before we pull these next group of spiders. Ooh, look at these Barrow treasures. I like that. Ooh, Mathens. Cardolan trinkets. These places are awesome. We're almost done collecting the shards. This place is a little bigger than I was expecting. Kind of a lot bigger. came out of the way. Let's kind of go back this way. Hand? That was Trixie. The hands were like on top of each other. never really explored these places before this is actually really cool I'm wondering if there's gonna be a second All right, this probably connects with the other way I'm wondering if there's gonna be a second um... inscription thing in here go that way huh and maybe we've reached the end I can't tell if this is the end or not it does curve one more time Whoa. okay everybody's coming except perhaps not the boss little boss lady back there in the corner all right we got all the treasures Level 20, huh? Hmm. Ah! Executioner of the Wicked. Alright, we're getting a bunch of treasures. So, ooh. Perhaps we can go back. Yeah, here's another awesome. Another ancient pillar. So maybe we maybe we go back and can turn in the treasure quest more than once. Alright, we fully explored this place. I feel like. Got what we needed. Hold something. Okay. 
Grave Digger. Defeat Barrow Wardens in the Barrow Downs. We're only at 3 of 50 right now, huh? Alright. 4 of 50 now. So we've got one more to do. How are we doing on these? 35 of 60. And we haven't even gone down to the one that I think that we're technically supposed to be. Farming a little bit. We haven't gotten to that one yet. I think it's a little harder. This is going to give us more progress towards the Grave Digger one. Taking these guys out. might be a little bigger. At least that's the first impression. Whoa. Four or six. So let's see where this direction leads, but we can come back down and go the other direction as well. Whoa. This actually may end up connecting. Oh, it's another pillar. So that's five out of six. The sixth one may be in here actually. So we are at nine of 50, but we may get progress. Ooh, we may get progress towards that same thing in the other location. I don't know. stuff we're getting though all the rep items all right we just saw this guy go down here Ooh. all right we haven't gone in either direction i think this way just connects but let's make sure whoa 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 Barrow candle. Maybe we didn't have to kill that. I don't actually know. It's just a candle, right? Watcher's workshop. It's a real workshop. <laughs> it's actually a workshop. 
I wonder if anything happens from using it. Okay. I don't think he liked us using it. I'm just going to do a little digging real quick to make sure nothing special happens from using this thing. Okay, so it sounds like it may not actually be at this point in the game's life, it may not be something that does much. Uh, although at one time it may have been, I'm not gonna dig too deep right now since we're in the middle of doing all this, but that's what it appeared to me to be the case. That it may not do anything now. Are we getting, no. I'm a little, a little lost now. Maybe we go back up. Let's go back up and check those sides out first. All right, the sides were right around the corner here and then to each left and right there were places that we haven't explored yet. This is one way. Got some new abilities here for cry of the hunter um dispels movement speed debuff wow that seems pretty good so that's kind of like an emergency button huh desperate flight it's immediate that is scary Rally point. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's the last pillar, huh? I think that's all the pillars. <laughs> I don't understand. So I'm just not sure, like, okay, we can't go any further. Is there anything else in here that we need to do? Several creatures that inhabit. It's all in the southern Barrow Downs. That's not where we are. I think we're good in here now. I don't know that I can find my way out, but I think we're good in here. I think the fastest way is just to go straight. It's kind of scary. Might have to test our rally. 
ability here. Or our break speed. Rally didn't work. Maybe you can only use that out of combat. See if any of this gear is wearable now. Okay. So, we've gotten the text, gathered the shards, and we got the stalker. So now we need prey, gathering, and bone man. We've also got the treasures. It also looks like Treasures of Cardolan we haven't done. Let's we'll see where Treasures is. Up there. Alright, let's go check that out. Let's go check out Treasures of Cardolan. We're looking for an ancient chest. Ooh, yeah. Next uh, Bargus we see, let's look at the numbers we need. Just curious if we're even halfway there on the advanced level. Okay, so we're 21 out of 60 now. But there are lots of them around this area, so it's good to grab them while we're here. Oh, you know what? This might be the quest that allows us to pick up this chest now that we weren't able to pick up before. All right, where are we on the white? We only need four more. It's actually going to be hard for us not to finish this if we do the other dungeons and such. There's advanced. So he's actually one of the ones that are over here. Um, just south of here. So let's go turn that in. We did finish the 10 Lotro points. Deed completed. And we got Mercy, which we want for the agility. So, and I think that was our first Mercy point. So let's go ahead and assign that. Again, we are trying to get very specific virtues on this character as we level so that we can be pretty strong. It is fun to be strong on a hunter. All right. Very good. So we're gonna turn this one quest in just to see if there's a follow-up on the treasures quest. What can I do for you? Hello, friend. Could you help me with something? Let's 
So this is taking us into the Great Barrow itself. This is clearly a great is a dungeon quest, something we probably are not gonna do. Greetings, friend. We may have some things we can sell. At this point, we definitely have some gear we could upgrade, and hopefully we will be able to. Oh, that'll be excellent. At level 22, that actually gives us agility. Okay, we're good. We have several rep items, but I think we'll wait and use all the rep items at the same time. All right, let's see what's up here. Are we tracking all the quests we need to track? Yeah, I think we are. Oh, except for Fled to the South. And the only thing we need to go to is Fled to the South. Nope. Gathering Grave Moss is in this place here. Okay, that's weird. So it looks like we need to go over there first, and then we'll come back to this spot. Let's go check that out. I didn't realize we had all that loot that we hadn't picked up in a while. No reason left to kill these guys. This new ability definitely saved, saved us. And it's only got a two minute cooldown, that's not bad. Okay, we wanna go up this way. I don't know if we're gonna get quests that will send us like back into the Barrow Downs from here. Okay, search for Amalok. Fled to the what south. What can I do for you? Okay, we should Might have I that because we're time. killing him anyway. Might I take a moment of your time? Um. Would you do something for me? And white skulls. Might as well. I mean, those are things that we're going to be doing anyway. Let's see if we can also repair here. What do you need? Nope, still just sell. Okay. Is this person wandering over here? What are you doing there, Rob? I think there was somebody else though, wasn't there? A third person? Maybe it was Rob. Just wandering around. Dead man's perch. Now we have a quest over his head. That was weird. At the forest do edge. For me. You know, we'll accept all these Might quests because we are Might I take a moment of your time? in the Great Barrow. That is like going into the actual barrow, which you're probably not going to do. Alright. St we are working on the Breland quest thing, so if there are quests we can work on. Alright, so now the trick is going to be tracking the right quest, right? Okay, the forest edge, we could add that, I suppose. I am 
wondering where okay so prey on the darkness let's see where that is showing us going because so I'm assuming it will show us exactly where that quest is. okay so it's right here so that's where we're heading and we want to do that pretty soon maybe it helps to hit 21 first I don't know um, okay so I am curious where where's gathering grave moss Okay, it, it's in there as well. We may be able to get it. Yeah, so we can get that while we're in there as well. So we can untrack that one. Let's see where Addy's missing sons are. Okay, before we get to the Southern Barrows. And there isn't anything over at this one now. So that was just one of the many places you can get the uh, grave moss from it looks like all right let's go here now it's interesting because that did not show it as giving us the um barks eyes or whatever that question so maybe it's only the ones that we find in the right back down to her. Where does it show the treasures? Ooh. I'm assuming we would rather turn those in for the quest reward versus just getting the rep straight up from them. I don't Woe know. Woe to me. I'm sure it will do no good, but... May I speak with you? All right, let's search for Malin now. Whoa, 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 whoa. He is down in the southern part. It doesn't look like we have anything more to do in the northern part of the Barrow Down. So let's head. And I'm going to stop killing these barks for right now because they may be in this dungeon that we're going to. In this public dungeon. Alright, so we can travel this way. We'll go kill the... Bone Man. There's all kinds of stuff for us to do down here. And it may be worth turning in the Bone Man quest. Don't we get a pretty good reward for that, if I'm not mistaken? Knowing that the Bone Man is dead is reward enough. Okay, we're not technically here yet in terms of the Southern Barrow Downs. find I guess we'll go find her son and then we'll go destroy the bone man and we'll see we might at least poke our head into that public dungeon now and see if it's possible for us at this point so it looks like all of them down here I mean we could just go around landscape and finish a lot of these things that we need to do there's so many of them maybe I should
We just got our first uh, U branch. We're into the U's. Isn't this where her son is? I guess not exactly. It's more up and around, it looks like. We kind of went down into this pool. Uh, we must be getting close. Yeah, we're 12 more of those guys. We haven't even gone into the dungeon yet. And I don't know for sure they're going to be in the dungeon, but... Who's chasing us? So we're no longer tracking what we need to be tracking here. We're going to get that. We're going to get that without even trying. Here we go. This is what we want to track. Yeah. things we don't do very often. Setting traps. on both fronts in terms of her sons. So where was the place we're going in? I don't remember now, but it's around here somewhere. Right, let's go kill the bone man first. Ooh, shoot. You can just get so many levels and so much stuff done in the Barrow Downs, and that's before you run the dungeon, if you decide you want to run the dungeon.
All right, so let's. See where it is. Oh, you know what? Let's see, at the forest edge. Do we want to go do that quest? So I guess the place that we were that we were looking for is actually just this this spot that we went to. Although maybe there is an entrance. Okay, looks like there is an entrance. Let's go there first. I mean, we do have these quests down here at the forest edge and unfortunate harvest. But I'd rather go check this place out. Yeah, I'm just first. I'm really curious like what's in here and uh, how hard it's going to be. So there's some ash mixed in here down here as well, not just you. Okay. Hod Larchith. This is what we were looking for. This is a public dungeon. Okay. This seems hard. Everything is kind of elitish. be able to do this it's not going to be easy um, it's not going to be easy so that was a pull with three guys we'll get grave moss from a lot of these creatures I guess what we really should do before we pull in here is go ahead and set traps, right? Poison? What poison? More bearer treasures. Okay, let's go ahead and set the trap. it's manageable pulls like that we're gonna be okay okay there's not appear to be anything up here we're getting the grave moss and we are Doing other things. All right, trap is not off cooldown yet. Trap is now off cooldown.
Okay, we're just kind of going off into one direction here. side doors for us to take so we're just kind of going all right let's put the trap down See if we can pull him before he gets back to the others. Alright. I guess things just respawn in here, huh? trapped in here. Oh shoot. We almost backed back into things. Oh, we ran out of power. Wow. That's what happened is we ran out of power. Didn't even know that was possible. Thank you. 
just want to kind of see what's up top here if anything's different yeah we need that for executioner of the wicked like that candle is wanting to attack us but isn't getting knocked out because of maybe what they're leaving on the ground and that's also robbing us of power we're not actually running out of power because of abilities okay good to know i think he will come right into our path here sure about the power we definitely want to lay a trap before pulling this it seems like we're gonna get all three of them this might be tough let's kill this first Let's do this. Okay, we only got the boss and his guns. Unfortunate that we missed that ability. All right. All right, he stunned us. Ooh. Pray on the darkness we completed. We still need a few more relics. really hard here. Essentially. Oh, 
right now. Alright, so that means we get a new point to put in to give us a little more damage. Go ahead and get past these guys, I guess. Slayer is not a problem. Barrow Wardens in Barrow Wardens. So we, oops, Nemesis of the Something. What was that one called? Nemesis of the Fallen, I think. Arrow spirits, okay. So we've probably got a couple more of the ones that do execution wrong. All right, let's see what we can see. Grave digger. Oh, but now we've got grave digger advanced. We need to kill ninety nine more of them. So sure what if anything we're getting for these oh nemesis of fallen gotcha okay so that actually is pretty important This is the exit.
What if we just follow them and help them kill stuff a little bit? That seems like a pretty legit plan, right? Welcome, Big Draka. This is actually really helpful. So my new strategy is now find somebody that doesn't seem to mind you. same place we just were but again we're just getting lots of the things we need thirst for thirst I probably drink two times on body weight and ounces of water and other clothes I haven't gotten a straight night of sleep in days doesn't sound fun. We gotta watch our health here. We'll let him tank. Let him do his tank thing. taken away here. Because we're in combat, we got no combat, no, no power back there. power back. Guess we're gonna help him take down this boss again.
would have been nice if we would have grouped up for all this, but... I'm okay with just uh, getting credit for the kills. We'll fight, fight our way out of here. So this will be a little bit of a grind. Oh, oh gosh. Is this the exit? Yeah, this is the exit. All right. We definitely want to exit at this point. I think it's a pretty good thing for him, too, to have us with him. I mean, we were helping him kill things so much faster. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of We still don't have enough relics. Six out of ten, huh? All right, we're going to aggro everything in here. All right, so we need to figure out... What needs to be turned in before heading back to Bree? Bone Man does. Vargas Eyes do. Did we ever finish? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Still 
still need 10 more of those creatures. Guess we can get them up top if we need to. Ten more pups. Although, we'll get them when we come back. we still got some more work to do in here. It's just taking longer than I realized, so we're going to... kind of want to just go turn everything in, see where we stand. Alright, some quests will be turned in down here. So let's go do that first. To my misery. Can't believe both of her sons are dead. All right, we what got the. Need? So we need the woodworker quest. Oh shoot. We need to sell stuff. How can I be of service? What can we sell? Um, that's scholar. We're gonna send that to our scholar. Task items. We're not gonna keep opals right now. Weaponsmith. We'll use that in about half a level, so we'll hold on to that. That's woodworking. Um, expert crafters. I think we'll actually get rid of that for now. This we're no longer using. Oh, we should use this. I didn't realize we had that. Okay. I haven't looked at some of the gear we've gotten. Okay, there's just so much stuff we've picked up here. That was such a good run. All right, we should have gotten rid of enough to, to do this now. What can I do for you? I need stack so we can get these on top of them. Sent. One last chance Stay to collect the card and treasure. Card and treasure. We'll accept that only because I think we may end up having to go there to Would kill all the different creatures. Stay a moment. Okay. Um, all right, so other place we need to go. Turn quest in. Is there anything over here? Bone Man. Oh yeah, Bone Man is with the the white. The Wandering Shade. Bone Man is no more. Yeah, that's what we needed. To Shade and Bree Town, for sure. We will happily do that. Oh man, that was not what I thought it was going to be. Alright. Yeah, we'll keep all the agility stuff, I guess. Okay, our bags are so full. So let's just make sure, first of all, what are we tracking? Shade and Bree Town, that's fine. Bree, Bree. Where's that? Bree, Bree. All right. Let's just make sure. Let's make sure that all of these are Brie. Oh, we, we checked. So, we don't need to track this. If these two are in Brie, which they were, then all of them are Brie. So we can just fast travel to Brie. <laughs> 